Hello and welcome to the Kufai Weekly. I'm your host, Kasim Hafiz. So today we're going to talk about something which happened a few weeks ago. That was Amnesty International's report on Israel, where they labelled Israel an apartheid state. For those of you who don't know, apartheid was the system of government in South Africa, which essentially created two systems. It was a racist, bigoted system, which the white minority were treated as superior and the black majority were treated inferior. Thankfully, that system fell and apartheid in South Africa is no more. But this libel of accusing Israel of being an apartheid state is not new. But Amnesty International putting this in their report was pretty shocking. So much so, an uh, Israeli Arab member of parliament was the first to condemn it. He said, this is ridiculous. Recently, Amnesty International's own director in Israel said that it just simply wasn't true, that the report made broad sweeping generalizations and it treated Arab Israelis as helpless victims. It's so interesting. We see nonprofits and especially anti-Israel groups doing everything they can to turn Arab Israelis, to turn Palestinians into these helpless children. They rob them of their own agency. They rob them of their own independence. They rob them of essentially their humanity. It's pretty disgusting. But let's focus on what they said about Israel for just a second. So, like I said, they branded Israel an apartheid state. Israel just this week appointed four new justices to its Supreme Court. A Muslim man and a Jewish Sephardi woman. Again, huge diversity within Israel. I mean, there's not many countries in the Middle East which have that sort of diversity on their Supreme Court. In fact, I would bet probably no one. Yet, let's go beyond that. If you go to Israel, if you spend any time in Israel, Jerusalem, you'll see Jews from all different backgrounds. You will see Arab Christians, Muslims, you'll see Druze, you'll see people of all sorts of backgrounds. They are represented in Israel's government, they are represented in Israel's military, they are represented in every facet of Israel's society. So when Amnesty International calls Israel an apartheid state, it is one, a blatant lie, which completely ignores the reality on the ground, which you can go and see with your own eyes. Secondly, it is doing something which is incredibly egregious. It is taking the suffering of black South Africans, the horrific treatment that so many suffered under the apartheid regime in South Africa and co-opting it. Co-opting it to score political points, co-opting it to demonize Israel, co-opting it to further victimize the Palestinian people. Any Israeli, no matter what their background, has full protection under the law. Any Israeli, no matter what their background, can go to the courts, can go to the judicial system to right wrongs. Every citizen of Israel, regardless of their background, votes in free and fair elections. That's not apartheid. If that is your definition of apartheid, then most of the free world is apartheid. And again, Amnesty International silence on the real human rights abuses going on all over our world is absolutely shocking and disgusting. But with everything which is going on at this moment, as we speak, Amnesty International once again chooses to focus on Israel. And when this repeatedly happens, you have to ask, are Amnesty International really about defending human rights or are they there to push a political agenda? This is Kasim Hafiz for the Kufi Weekly. Until next week, for Zion's sake, do not remain silent. Thanks for checking out today's episode of Kufi Weekly. If you enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the latest news from the Middle East, along with topics involving US-Israel relations, please be sure to like and subscribe. And remember to click that notification button so that you are notified every time a new show is uploaded.